Hi everybody, this is Leah Martin from Running Road and today I decided I was going to actually show you what my effective everyday carry would be when I am traveling internationally. I'm going to two conferences in Spain, International Search Summit, and then literally two days later, Repeople, which I am excited about. It's my first international flight since COVID. And I thought what I would do is show you all of the stuff that I would usually carry on top of my regular luggage, which is just socks and underwear and stuff like that, that you guys probably are not super interested in. Let's get started. So first off, the camera that I'm actually shooting everything behind is a Sony A6500. And we have this microphone right here, which is the Rode Video Micro, I believe. This is about $150. The Sony A6500 is probably about $1,000 right now. It's pretty darn good. I have a wide angle lens on that right now. And then I have this 50 millimeter lens, which is really good for getting some like sexy bokeh artistic shots. And it's really small as well. I would generally only carry this if I had to choose one, but since I get to choose two, I take this other lens with me as well, which gives me a much wider shot. Along with that, I have a couple batteries, which are really useful, obviously, for taking video on the camera. But then I also have this thing, which is a slug for the A6500. This is the actual battery slug for it, and it can be connected to power. So that's really easy for me to be able to kind of just plug it in and do interviews for an extended amount of time. To power everything, all of my devices, I actually have two solutions. The first one is the RAV Power Power Brick. So this thing's about 60 something watts and it has two plugs. I have a USB-C plug and then I have a iPhone plug effectively. I don't know what these things are really called. And this allows me to be able to power basically everything that I have here. Uh, everything runs on USB type C and then I have one device unfortunately that still runs on the like iPhone charger thingy. Over here, I have my computer equipment. So I have the iPad Pro 11 inch. I've used this for a couple years. It's a really good media consumption device and particularly for people that are trying to remain productive. I really divide my workspace from my social space. So I go on like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of stuff on this device. And then this device is exclusively used for work. And this one is the new MacBook Pro 14 inch, which has been really great up until this point. It is a little bit thicker than a regular MacBook, but it also has really cool stuff like the MagSafe system. So it's just like this magnetized power system that allows you to quick charge, but it also allows you to charge through USB type C. I'm not taking the MagSafe charger because it only works on one device and I can actually charge this computer on USB-C. So I'm only taking this one device, the RAV power charger, even though the MagSafe charger would actually charge the computer a little bit faster. And then also too, I have the Anchor Power Core something or other. <laughs> this thing's like almost 10,000 milliamp hours. So it could recharge this laptop completely. It could recharge your phone a couple times. It can recharge the iPad a couple times. And I really like this thing because I can be on a 14 hour flight and have no power problems whatsoever. However, for the MacBook Pro, that thing I believe has 17 hours of battery life inside of it, which is pretty darn awesome as well. Also an honorable mention is I just bought this thing and it's pretty cool. It was about 25 bucks. It is a LED light that you can connect to through USB uh, type C. So I can actually connect this to the anchor power system like this. And then hopefully if this works, I can actually light everything up. So if you actually want to do an interview, you literally have a mobile lighting system on the go for about 25 bucks, which is pretty cool. Moving on to basically the logistics of traveling internationally, I have the AirPods Pro and I use these for my computer, for my iPad, for my phone, basically everything that I wanna use. It has pretty good microphones on it and the audio and noise cancellation is pretty darn good. However, there are some times in which that 
isn't available, particularly when you're on a plane and you can't for some reason just connect to Bluetooth inside of the plane's audio system. So instead of that, I have the Bose SoundTrue Ultras as well. I've talked about these quite a bit. They're about 70 bucks. I think don't think they're currently available anymore, but basically they have really, really comfortable ear tips for me. And then the actual microphone is really good. And I can plug this into pretty much any analog system in a plane and it will work just fine. To put all of this stuff into one particular package, I've recently come across this and these guys from Side by Side sent me this. This is actually a complete like one, it's, it's a complete electronics bag in a box, which is pretty darn cool. And you even get things like the, all of your SIM cards that are available in one place, which I very much appreciate because I'm gonna be jumping out my SIMs when I actually land to start those conferences. So you can put all this stuff in here. You can put your SIM that you usually use back into this compartment. It's all in one place so that you don't actually forget anything. Uh, on top of that, then we move on to actually masks. You need to have masks. This is the reality. This is traveling internationally with COVID. Have a lot of masks. I was looking for an N95 mask, but uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to actually get any. So I've got a couple of these. I've put literally one in every single bag that I have because I'm gonna be gone for 11 days. So I have about five or six. If uh, I run out of one, I'll always have a backup available to me. I also have the AirTag uh, by Apple. And this is really useful. If I lose my main bag, I'll be able to actually track this down from the airport. So I put this in my main electronics bag so that if something does happen, I'm tracking it at all times and I can always track it down when I need to have it tracked down. Lastly, we actually get into logistics here. So obviously I've got my passport. I've got my phone. This is the Pixel 5, I believe and I have my wallet. But more importantly, I also have in triplicate proof of vaccination uh, out of Canada. And then I also have my RPD rapid testing result, which is pretty darn difficult to get actually. It costs like 95 bucks and took about a year to be able, or took about a day to be able to get it back. I was scared that I actually wasn't gonna get it in time. But all of this information you need for the new reality of travel. What I would do is print these out in triplicate, put them in various different bags that you have. So if you're carrying one, more than one bag, carry them around and then also take photos with your phone so that you have it and usually take those photos and put it in some type of cloud account. So that if anything happens, you've got some type of situation that, to be able to cover for it. I do the same thing with my passport. Now I'm doing it with my proof of vaccination and I'm doing it with my rapid testing. So that's about it. That's what I usually carry and what I'm gonna be carrying. Do you like videos like this? Would you like to actually learn all of the weird stuff that I do and why I probably put like 40 hours of thought into assembling this particular set of objects? If you do, uh, like this video and uh, let me know down in the comments below. Also, am I missing anything? That's super important. Again, I try to travel as light as humanly possible uh, while still at the same time being able to create content and be able to work remotely wherever I'm going. So let me know down in the comments below. And if there's anything else that you wanna talk about down there, please let me know and otherwise I will see you in the next video.